Hey, what's up you guys? Thanks for tuning in to Barbecue It. I'm your host, Craig Kimberly, and always, I really, really appreciate you tuning in. Now today, beef short ribs smoked on the Weber 22. This is gonna be quick, easy. Well, not quick, it takes a few hours, but the prep is easy, and the what you get out of it is absolutely some of the best, probably one of the top three favorite foods in the world. Very rich, very good, and this is a super simple recipe. All right, so let me get you up to speed on what I've done to these already. The day before, if you can help it, I like to try to dry brine these and put them in the refrigerator. First things first, get them out, pat them off dry, and then we're gonna slice this fat off the top of these. This will not render, there's a ton of sinew up here. I've seen people cook with this on, and I've tried it with it on, it's a bad idea. Anyways, you cut this off, you be really careful, Make sure that you don't take too much of the meat off. You want to get right underneath that layer, kind of like you're filleting a fish or even skinning an animal if you've ever done that, and just get that off there. Now this is going to be clear and exposed for our salt and pepper. And what we're going to do is a dry brine, which is basically applying salt, just like this, kosher salt, all over every single side of it. Now you don't have to worry about the bottom, that's the bone. You don't need to ever season that because it's completely irrelevant. Now, let's get these in the refrigerator let them sit overnight, and I'll lightly cover them with plastic, pull them out, let them come to room temperature, and there they are. Look how beautiful these looked the day after. I cannot believe the color of these once they sat overnight. I'm always amazed at what the dry brine does to almost anything. Look at that color. Time, temperature, and technique. What we're working with today, time, between four and a half to six hours probably. Temperature, I'm shooting about 265, it could go up to 280 maybe, I just want to be careful with it. And technique, of course, we are offset smoking. We're going to be using some B&B &B oak briquettes, using some big chunks for pecan, you know, just we have that long smoke. But this is B&B's competition blend, which is fantastic. Pecan, cherry, and oak, very excited. This is my first time using this, and I heard it's a pretty good secret. So we're going to get a lot of different wood flavors on here. And to start our fire, Another first for me today is B&B's Fire Starters. These are uh, Sure Start, they're called. It's uh, non-toxic, no flare-ups, it says. It's basically recycled wood chips, or you know, recycled wood and wax. You know, no harm there, so very excited. Let's get cooking. Oh, a little bit of marble in action on there. Not too bad. Let me get a little bit more pepper on these and we'll get them on the grill. Pepper grinder's pissing me off. I was trying to look cool with my uh, brass pepper grinder that my friend gave me because I love it. But it is just, man, when you're doing barbecue and you want fresh black pepper, I'm going to be honest, these auto grinders are the jam, especially when you're, uh, you know, in the mood for real fresh black pepper. There's no way to replace that flavor. Woo, you can even just smell it. It's just, so now we've got our pepper on all sides of them. They're going to sit and just continue to warm up a little bit from being in the fridge. They've been out for about an hour, so they're probably pretty much ready to go. Let's get a fire lit. All right, so now we are, we are up to temp. I'm gonna drop my first chunk of wood. So now I'm gonna take some of my brand new championship mix. I'm just gonna kinda Sprinkle that in so we get a nice variety of wood flavor as this burns through for the next four hours. Let that smoke. Now let that smoke break in. You want your pit also to get back up the temperature. And now our pit's up the temp and that smoke is rolling and it smells unbelievable. Now make sure you put your larger pieces towards the front and of course your smaller pieces slightly to the back and everything here is indirect. And of course about every 30 minutes I spritz when I'm smoking, especially these short ribs. This is pineapple juice and apple juice with a splash of apple cider vinegar. And here you will see the payoff as you continue to layer this every 30 minutes, you're gonna get a gorgeous color amazing flavor and it'll allow that smoke to continue to penetrate the meat. There he is. Coming to make the drop. Now, whilst I'm sitting here shooting this episode, my boy Joey 
shows up with some goods from Restaurant Depot during our tough times right now. Social distancing, but uh, it's taking care of the boy. What's up, brother? Look at that, he's disinfecting the meat and everything. Just a drop, baby, just a drop. Got Jim, Jim driving the truck. What's up, Jim? What's up, baby? You tell people how they can get a Restaurant Depot card? No, but I will. It's a good thing to good thing to put on there. SCA, baby. That's right. Restaurant Depot. That's what's up. Thank you so much, brother. Got Look at that. He's got it wiped down. So yeah, you want your uh, Restaurant Depot card? Join the SCA. You'll get one in the mail. You might need it soon. Thanks, brother. Air pound. Pound it out, Joey. Air pound. Stay Oof. safe. Stay safe, brother. Appreciate that, man. Air pound, Jim. Jim Dalpiez. Thanks, brother. Gloucester boys look out for each other. That's what's up. Okay, folks. So it's been about three and a half ish hours. Smoke's done, and now we're ready to wrap. Oh, would you look at that? Come on in here. <laughs> Get on down in there. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Can you, can you see it? Oh, the smell is. If you've ever made these before, oops. And let's just probe here for tenderness. Not bad. Still some to go. And they're probing about buck 65. So what I'm gonna do now is let's get these out of here. I'm gonna wrap these and then we're gonna put a little bit of the juice I've been spritzing them with in here, which has been pineapple, apple juice combo. Party people, are you kidding? So good. All right, I'm gonna get some juice in here, wrap this back on the grill. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of this apple juice, pineapple juice combo I'm working with here. There's actually a splash of apple cider vinegar in there too. That's probably enough, it doesn't need a ton. Let's get some foil on this and get it back in there. Foil it up tight because we are now into the tenderizing mode. Back on the grill, and I will check that. We got our color. Now we're gonna add that last little bit of cook down. Chopping my head off with the camera, here we go. <laughs> Let me just lean in here. All right, so one hour, let's get after it. Well, what do you know is fate would have it, the sun actually came out, which is a good thing, because this is gonna look beautiful in the sun. Let's see how we're looking. Oh, I've been waiting for this for hours. And there's the reveal. Look at that. Stunning. All right, we're going to do a quick probe. Get the Sony in on this action here. Two and change. 208. Now that one's nice and tender. So some of these are a little bit further along. So I'm going to let this go for about five more minutes just to tack up the top. Then I'm going to pull it off and let it rest for an hour. So these reached 205 and I went ahead and unwrapped them and let them sit for a few more minutes on here and they look absolutely stunning. Let's get them off the grill. And of course, keep it wrapped for that last hour and this is what it'll look like when it's finished. So here's about half of them. The other is still carrying over a little bit, but oh, <laughs> it does not take much to remove the bone from these. Sorry, I'm on the opposite side of the camera. I'd like to be for slicing here. I'll, I'll do it like this. <laughs> wow. That is absolutely beautiful. Let's slice this one. I'm gonna kind of go in the middle. Oh. The, rub, the fat on the bottom pulled off the bone, so you want to cut that off. You'll see that right here. You don't want any of that action right there. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh, 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 get in there. Let me, let me get in. Go to infinity. Let's get out of here. Here we go. All right, well, there you have it. Now, you can put this, of course, on anything you want. Make, uh, you know, soft tacos, sliders, or just eat it straight up. It's meat candy. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I mean, it's just, there's nothing else that compares to it, except for brisket. But it's different than brisket. It's, um, it's more, uh, it's more rich. It's unctuous, I think you might say. Mm. All right, I gotta cut another piece. Oh, ridiculous. Sorry for chewing on camera so much, but it's addictive. Beefy goodness, look at that. Oh. Anyways, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Click that subscribe button if you can, it's gonna be up here somewhere. And uh, like, you know, and all that jazz when you can too, that helps make you find the videos, you know what I mean? So, there you have it, barbecue it. Let's keep it going, y'all.